handle, and we want to get a close-up view of the outer handle to see if at the hub of the handle the uh, uh, hashed, uh, the painted hash tab rotates up and down as Tammy rotates that same lock-unlock tab on the inside up and down. Rominger is now rotating the wrist of the, uh, the remote manipulator system or robot arms so that uh, flight controllers have the uh, correct orientation for this diagnostic view of uh, the outside of the hatch. And as we uh, look at the view from the end effector of the robotic arm right now, what we'll probably try to do is zoom in and focus on the hub of that handle that's at the upper central part of the hatch we're looking at. Position, uh, of course, we'd like to get as tight a view as we can of the hub there and the uh, actuating mechanism. this handle it's about uh, one foot long and it rotates a little over one full revolution to operate a series of linkages around the circumference of the hatch that pull the some tabs or dogs back um, okay uh, I appreciate that uh, is there any chance at all that, that whatever is causing this could have been, I know there's never been a space walk uh, it's our, my understanding anyhow that the hatches uh, go through a functional check every time that they're uh, changed from one condition or one location to another and uh, that's some of the data we're trying to collect now is to verify that. We're trying to reach the technicians who actually did the work to see if there's anything that they might be able to add to our knowledge base. But right now, we don't think that that's anything that is germane to the problem. Two for me, and I promise these are the last two. Uh, one's a quick one. I assume there's no thermal issue with the blanket being... Uh